Good morning, artists. We are in the, in the resting community center today to do a wonderful salt painting, abstract salt painting. What you need for today is some salt. You can have a coarse one, simple one, thin one. You can, you can use some food coloring. And if you have some watercolor concentrate, but food coloring works very well too. For the paper, we need a four little rectangle paper or square paper. I'm going to use just a black paper to frame it at the end. I will have a paper where I can work here, which is a square shape of the paper. And I will make sure that I cover my surface with some paper to protect the table. And now let's begin the project. Okay. This is a, the four piece of paper, and I'm going to put the four piece of paper right on, uh, on the big square paper. This paper will become also an artwork too. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking my uh, salt, and I sprinkle gently on top. Now, of course, all is on white on white, so you just kind of you put it all around that. And then what you're doing is, as you finish up to spread those up, you're taking the little coarse one, and you put a little bit more, like, with no exactly any particular order, like this is going to spread like this. I'm taking the first color. I'm going to use two color. I'm going to use blue and green. And I'm going to let them gently drop And the dropping part is I'm trying to use the space available. Some can go directly on the paper. It's, it's okay. Remember, this is I'm doing with watercolor, but you can definitely do with, uh, with uh, um, food coloring. Now, I'm trying to be very careful. Um, if, if you are a young artist, you want to probably have a parent come or somebody help you out so you don't want to stain your uh, clothes. Sometime on the finger too, they can get dirty too, a little bit. So here I'm putting a little bit of a green inside. I'm trying to not cover the entire white paper. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to try to use some space that I didn't use with blue, paper, blue coloring. Okay. So at this point, the uh, salt it will take in the watercolor and it will make this interesting design. To become interesting also the paper that I have here, I can take this and dripping the, my tile here, one side, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to let them kind of go in a different directions. So it creates some kind of abstract pattern. I'm going to do the same thing here. This time. So I'm very interested to see what the result is on a, on a big paper too. See, I'm doing it with a different inclination. Now those four tiles are there to dry. In the meantime, I can sprinkle a little bit more salt on this paper. Maybe a little bit of this salt here. Coarse one will create even more interesting design. And then I can take the big piece of paper and gently rock in the paper the way I want it. And let that drip the extra salt right on my paper. So I have, this is the result. Put to the side and I can take my four tiles 
and put it right on the paper to let it dry for about an hour, an hour and a half. You can use, I'm putting directly on a, on a black paper, but you can use any paper to let it dry. And I can put this to the side. Here is the final product, the big one on a big paper, still dripping a little bit. And this one instead is the one that I already glue it on and is the four tiles that we made it. I made it before so they are dry so you see the texture of the paint around with the salt. Hope you enjoyed this presentation and for more information and video you can, you can check on the restingcommunitycenter.com. Bye!